but um, not because there are any fatal flaws in the troughs. I mean, we right. we found better ways to do things, cheaper ways to do things, and we've made improvements and adjustments there. But there's not really any, there's not really any problem building a solar array. I mean, we have that part down. So right. this part's been built since. Uh, December. We've just been working on the ORC since then. Let's go look at the ORC. The action starts here in the vaporizer, so I'll start there. Um, so the glycol comes into the vaporizer here from the ORC where it absorbs all of the heat collected by around 20 square meters of collection area in the, uh, in the uh, parabolas. Heated up there, comes into the vaporizer here. Uh, this small expander in the first stage, this is an air motor, or to this scroll compressor that we are using as an expander. And we put these two in in the first stage um, to test the air motor relative to the scroll compressor. Um, so far the scroll compressor is performing much better than the air motor as our first expander. Stage expansion, the hot expanded vapor enters the recuperator over here. It then exits the recuperator and goes to this hot to this water heater heat exchanger. Comes in the top and exits the bottom and then goes into the condensers which are just automotive radiators with fans. It then exits the condensers and goes to the working fluid pump and then from the working fluid pump it goes to the other side of the recuperator where it receives some heat from the expanded vapor on the other side. After the recuperator the vapor then passes to the vaporizer. Um, well, it's, it could be partly vapor, partly liquid. It's a saturated vapor-liquid mixture. It passes to the vaporizer where it's fully vaporized to go to the expanders again. On the water side, water is stored in this water tank and enters into the water heater heat exchanger here and operates on a thermosiphon to rise through this heat exchanger and then back into the water tank 